Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Boston Rainbow Six Siege. Today we are myth busting Operation Chimera. Operation Chimera brings us two brand new attackers. First up we have Finca, who is from Russia and is part of the Spetsnaz. She has nanobots that can help her entire team. And we also have Lion, who is from France, he's part of GIGN and has a drone that is able to detect movement. Both of these operators fit into Rainbow's new sea burn. CTU. Finca can revive the hostage. So Finca is able to revive anyone on our teammate from as far away as she wants. But if you watch here, if we down the hostage and then attempt to revive the hostage with her ability, it doesn't work. This is because everyone on the attacking team is given an injection of nanoprobes before the mission actually begins. So it's busted because the hostage doesn't have any nanoprobes in them to be activated. Vigil versus Lion's Drone. So me and a lot of other people kind of assumed that Vigil was going to be invisible to Lion's Drone because Vigil makes himself invisible to cameras and drones. So he's kind of perfectly suited to be invisible to this drone. So if you watch here, we're activating Lion's ability. If you watch Vigil's backpack, you can see him switching on his ability, but he is still detected. Now this seems odd, but if you actually go and take a look at the drone and you actually activate the ability, it has some sort of sonic pulses or vibrations or something that comes out and this is how it detects movement. So in the lore of the game, this actually works really well because Vigil's ability is camera based. So cameras from the drones, cameras from the maps, it's able to intercept all those signals, edit Vigil out of them and then rebroadcast them back, kind of overpowering the original signal and people then get the wrong signal with Vigil anyway out. So if the drone is sending out kind of sonic pulses to detect movement, then that's actually not going to work. He's, there's nothing to intercept at all. However, we did check Lion's drone and drone versus Vigil, which had a surprising outcome. I thought what we we're going to see is just a red outline running around. But actually, Vigil's ability completely takes away him and the red outline when you're looking through the drone. It's not tactically useful whatsoever but it's kind of cool that someone thought about this someone thought yeah if you're looking at the video feed from the drone it would take away the red line and, and it would take away vigil as well so you wouldn't see anything through the drone so completely useless because pretty much anyone who's running around is not going to be on the drone when lion's ability is active so it doesn't help vigil in the slightest but it's confirmed finca versus barbed wire so Finca's ability affects the entire enemy team and it gives them a boost on multiple levels. So it gives them a health boost, it gives them a boost in recoil control, but also it stops them being slowed down as much when moving through barbed wire. So for instance, I've got a setup here, we're going to do a split screen and you can see that Finca on the bottom, who's got the boost on, gets through faster. Now we're doing it again. I've given Finca on the top a little bit of an advantage and you can see that actually Finca on the bottom with the nanobot boost is actually making it and catching up with her counterpart after the single barbed wire, which is pretty impressive. And it means you can rush into objectives a lot faster with Finca's ability. And because it affects the entire attacking team, this is really powerful for doing some really cool rush tactics with the new operator. Cav versus Lion's Drone. So Lion's Drone, with kind of a, a sonic detection system is basically too good for a girl who's just trying to sneak around and of course it will detect her which is to be expected but considering that stance is actually able to stop jackals tracking then Cav has still got some impressive advantages. Doc and Finca's heal stack. So of course we always have to test this really crazy stuff like attackers and defenders somehow getting shot with two different abilities and you actually see that what just happened there was that Finca's ability was overridden by Doc's ability. She actually lost everything and only gained Doc's health boost, which is actually very interesting. It means that if you were to shoot an attacker who has the nanobot boost on, it does actually take off the nanob nanobot boost. The only thing you're left with it left with as an advantage is the increased health. You can't go through barbed wire quicker. You don't have the recoil control. But of course, if Doc is shooting a stim pistol at you, it's probably better that Doc just simply shoots you with his gun. But anyway, that is busted. 
Thinkers over here replaces docks. But because of that last test, I thought, what about the other way around? So what if you get a dock boost up to 140? What happens if Finca uses her ability and actually brings her health down to 120? So it just replaces dock's boost entirely, which is interesting. So that is confirmed. Lion versus Smoke. So of course, I was inundated as soon as these operators were announced with a request to test them against Smoke's gas grenade because... They're wearing biohazard suits, they should be immune to it, right? Well, no. And, you know, I would never expect this to be the case. And of course, like, the SDS have gas masks on, it doesn't stop them. Whatever is in Smoke's Gas Grenade is some really potent stuff. So that is busted. Echo versus Finca. So this is an interesting counter, and it's kind of harder to explain in the lore, because when Finca activates her abilities, it's basically the nanobots break up and give the operator drugs, effectively, to boost them. And for some reason, getting hit by the sonic blast from Echo's drone stops that ability somehow. Um, don't know how it could, but definitely confirmed it stops it. You die once Finca's overheal runs out while on low health. So the thinking was here, what if you had really low health, you got boosted by Finca, but then you took a hit and you went down to really low health. What happens when the boost runs out? Do you lose that health you've got left over? Or is it using just the boosted health and going down and leaving your, your original health okay? So for instance, we went back down to 5 from 25 there. And we're waiting now for the boost to run out. And we stay on 5 health. So that is busted. Think as overheal versus a long fall. So it's kind of curious, what would happen if you put your boost on, does it take you, you know, does the boost actually give you less fall damage, does the health help? Well, no, you just die just like normal, so that is busted. Lion's activation versus mute. So every new operator that comes out, I feel like mute is always somewhat useful against them. So for instance, if Lion is in the radius of a mute jammer, he can't actually activate his drone, he can't even put the ability on. So this is what I always love about Mute. He always has these little things every single season that give him a little boost. So he is confirmed. Now we're going to test Lion's Drone versus Mute. So Mute is one of the most powerful counters for Lion because if you're in the radius of one of these Mute Jammers, you can put the invisible to the drone even if you move around. So it's, of course, really handy to be able to move, especially when Lion can't see you. And that is a really good advantage against him. So, for instance, you can see here, being inside the signal jammer means you don't get detected, which is really good. So that's confirmed. Now we're going to do one more test with Mute, and that is Finca versus Mute. So can Finca actually activate her nanobots while inside a Mute jammer? And she can't. Again, a nice little boost. This means if she was pushing up to you and then she tries to activate her ability before actually getting to the objective and gets jammed, that'd be pretty cool. So that is confirmed. Lion's drone can be destroyed. So in the live stream reveal, they said that this drone was indestructible. And as far as I can tell, it is. From every possibility, I could not seem to find a way that it could be damaged. I'm not even sure the actual model of the drone is solid. Like, it doesn't look like bullets are actually hitting the target. You know, nothing... Like, I tried actually getting a drone up and explosives and everything, and I couldn't do it. So as far as I know, it is completely indestructible. That is busted. So there we go, guys. That is my initial testing for Operation Chimera. So I've tried to give you a good range of things. You guys can let me know in the comments below if you have anything specifically that you want tested. And I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.